Now one is at Bodnant National Trust and one has seen the just faded laburnum fantastic alleyway arches. Uh, Bodnant means is Welsh for house by the stream. Now Bod is house and Nant is stream as in Nantwich, the name of towns in even England, I come from Welsh language, which is actually British. Now, this is more like proper wild roses, I think. Well, maybe they're not, actually. Um, mm, I think they might be azaleas. Well, that's an Acer. Yes, I do know things. Um, that's an Acer. They're proper Japanese, of course, not native to Britain. But uh, those are, those are cypresses that have had a bit of topiary done. Oh, yes, I do like a bit of topiary. Well, the governor near me where I live, Pulford Chester, um, has a topiary in the garden of the hotel there. Right, well, they did say the roses were down here. The wonderful thing about these acres and acres, well, well hundreds of acres, takes you eight hours at least to walk them around so it's best to day buy a national trust ticket and visit several times because you know you get your money's worth in two or three trips of well, anywhere i go to erdig mostly near me wrexham um yes the, so there's the laburnum there's the italianate seven terraces which are of course anything to do with style is always continental italia italians have the best uh but I can't see the roses. Well, anyway, it's a bit early. I'm sure those are azaleas. Um, well, oh God, I think that's a boring thing called... Um, what's they go to? Ah, this isn't boring. This is you. Now, this is very old and traditional and everything. Oh, uh, yeah, those are laurels, boring, bland things. They're, they're the new triffids. So today we used to have... Oh, I can't remember what the Leylandi were the others that eventually people had too many arguments with neighbours about. Uh, but it's just the boringness. I mean, one doesn't put forest things and things that grow... Oh, look at that, anyway. I remember this, this is a proper forest. I mean, this is meadows. They've got meadows full of proper daffodils. Not daffodils, what they called buttercups. Oh, yes, buttercups. Oh, I yes, say, a lot of things here have actually in the wilted in the heat. Oh, look at those, look at those now. I'm sure that those are azaleas. They're very big ones. Stop peeing, dog. Don't like it. Dog should not pee on. Oh, look, I mean, just look at the colour of that. Oh, of course, they, they could do with putting the little stickers, you know, like you instead and say what they are. But anyway, oh, there I can see the roses through the arches. Oh, the orgasm. Oh, here we go. Well, here we go. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, this is just fabulous. That is the most fabulous yew tree. Mine will never grow. That's look at the views of Kimri. Kimri means Wales. Oh, look at the lilies. Giverny Garden of Monet Painter. Don't jump in, you daft dog. He's not stupid, actually. No, Falcon, can you can you let me see the lilies? Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. And there's actually an insect in there. Oh, it's so pretty. And there's whites and there's pinks. And they've got yellow centres. No, get away from it. I'm busy with it. Shut up, dog. I shut up. I can't take you. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Nature is perfection. Humans try and emulate it, but they get it all wrong, of course. Especially when it comes to breeding dogs. I mean, look at that. I mean, yeah, never mind. Even that. I mean, you know. Who's ever seen a wolf with long hair that needs a groomer? I mean, anyway, where was I? This is just wonderful. I've made it to the terraces. I always get lost. They're not very well signposted here. And the plants need stickers to say what they are. But these are the roses. Come here, doggos. Woofers, this way. I think we have goodlier. That's the purple. Bees like the colour purple. Of all things, more than any other colour. There we go. Now, these are more like wild roses, you see. Uh, the modern roses don't have any scent anymore. They're built to be... Oh, look at that. I mean, they've wilted in the heat, haven't they? I've made it. I never promised you a rose garden. That's allium. That's that's garlic or onion. And that's purple. The bees love that. Watch out for the doggos, yes. Oh, watch out for the people, I should tell the dog. Oh, you woofers. 
Come along, her staffy has been petted to death at a national trust. Well, it's a national treasure, isn't it? Oh, they try and persuade themselves. Anyway, let's not get negative. Oh, the pink. Don't drink out of the pond. It could have bleed green algae. And then I'll have to explain to your owner why I've poisoned you. No, leave it alone. You've had water. You can have it later. <laughs> I don't want it drinking out of ponds. No, no, no. Don't make me shout. People are trying to relax. Right. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is just orgasmic. Oh, wonderful. In fact, I'll turn the camera off now. Oh, wait. Oh, look at these. I mean, they're very light, pale pink, these roses. Look at that's the house it's lived in. I forget the name of the people, but they're, whoever they are, they've donated it you know, to the National Trust and they just live there. Uh, well, you know, they just, someone has to do is get free gardening, don't they? Oh, look at this. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Oh, you don't see that. Matter. Look at those allium families. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Well, look at that insect on that. He's happy there. And that's the most favourite flower. You see? I think it's a wasp, actually. Huh. Well, we won't go too near them. The stings of wasps are pretty horrid. Oh, it's just like... Oh, well... They didn't mention the lilies, and I mean, they always gone about the laburnums. I mean, the lilies are just, you feel like you could walk on it. I could walk on water. Don't think you can. No, oh, you daft dog. Of course I'm. <laughs> well, I did send. You gave him too many ideas. Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> well, that's on YouTube later. 